is still cold from the wind blowing in from the broken window. The mattress creaks as you close your eyes and try your hardest to fall asleep. Here we are again, my broken bird. The waves are coming, carrying you away. But you can't go. No, you have to stay. Always half aware of yourself. You're not cooperating, brother man. Why? It's your disgusting body. Even through your sleep, you feel a vague discomfort suffusing it. Your belly and your sides are unpleasantly tender. You wish you could curl up into a fetal ball of safety. But you cannot because of the pain. That pain in your right side is your enlarged liver, by the way. As for your kidneys, you've really been compounding the damage lately. But this suffering, it must have some kind of meaning. A story that will come out of it. Perhaps even a story that you will write yourself. These are my just desserts. I will endure this pain with dignity. Hey, what is this? I was on the Express to the Zero home. I'm an artist and liver damage is my art. I think I need medical attention. Ah, uh, well, we've managed to heal up ourselves during the course of this night. I think we can actually endure the pain, so let's do it with dignity. There's no dignity here. Only reflections of your body mass. Flashes of the day. You keep coming back to yourself in the mirror, but why? To admire all your accomplishments? You're just stuck here, in the half world. Could try looking at other people, really looking. But why would you want to start doing that? Just get me out of here then, back to the other place. I will, I'm looking at people all the time, I like them. Human beings will always betray you. No, Kisaragi's been good. I like people. I'm looking at them all the time. Sure you do. They're all so friendly, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Some of them are. Some of them are nice. Others are scared. At least they're interesting. Each one has a process just like yours. Running in the space between their ears. Full of secrets. People are beautiful, statuesque, parodies and tragedies of themselves. A great democracy of creatures. What do you think you're doing right now? Coming to some greater awareness? Look at all these lights, blinking in and out of existence. Thoughts! You're just pretending that you're asleep, even to yourself. While the world goes on without you. Let it. Let it. So they're trying to convince me to stay asleep? But it never seems to let you go, does it? Time to rise and wipe that shining sweat off as best you can. Gather your bearings. Rock and roll. Open your eyes. And we healed our health. Ah, oh, well, we got a, a good five and a half hours sleep there, I'd say. All right. Time to get up and start our day. So, since we did that, let's go ahead and make a save. So again, I'm just keeping an eye on these saves here outside the pawn shop. But yes, I don't know how far back I will go to see if I can get away with not selling the dock workers shift card. Uh, and yes, a new day, no new expression. Mirror hangs on. Fair enough. Let's go. Now, I assume this means. Oh, hello. You should pick that fat, juicy cigarette butt from the tray, light it up, and smoke the living shit out of it. I forgot. I'm still wearing all the electrochemistry stuff. The what now? The living shit. Your mesolimbic reward pathway does not mince words. It wants smokes. Am I a smoker? Who knows what you are? A monster. A murderer. The no 
home of Jeroma, you feel like a smoker. Especially when you look at that juicy, succulent, seductive cigarette stub still smoldering deliciously. But she broke it at the filter. I can't smoke that. How very astute of you. This renders it ineffectual. You should look for a whole cigarette. Or better yet, an entire pack. Strike that. A carton. Make sure they're all healthy and able-bodied. Then smoke them all. I imagine a cigarette will actually be a tool I can use to increase my skills in some way, so that's not actually a bad idea. Or you could not do that. No one is making you. Yes, I should do that. I should enthusiastically do that. I should not not do that. I'll make it priority one. Well, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Good. Thinking about yummy cigarettes in your mouth is the next best thing. Make sure you think about juicy sticks of tobacco all the time, though. It doesn't count if it's not all the time. And when you're done thinking about them, graduate to getting them. Am I going to get a thought now? Plus, smoking them gives massive bonuses. There we go. Massive bonuses is kind of the reason why I'd want to do that. Because, really, smoking is terrible. But yeah. Alright, so let's take off the clothes I'm wearing for the time being. Uh, we want the shoes because we don't really have any better alternatives. A plus one composure doesn't really matter. Uh, the pants were kind of optimal. Uh, we also had the RCM cloak as well, because again, kind of optimal. This one gave us minus two authority, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, so we're good for pants, I think. Gloves, so electrochemistry or interfacing. I think we'll go fingerless for electrochemistry. A horrific necktie, Inland Empire, sure. And then electrochemistry again. Or, uh, what do I have instead? Logic and authority. They look a bit silly, but okay. Inland Empire again. And then office shades. Hmm. All right. And then we have the encyclopedia hat. Do I have any better ones? No. Ooh, half light. That was the thing. I think that's what I had before. The ultra series of gloves. I think yeah, I've got everything on now. So it's just a matter of do I have anything better? But I don't think so. Everything gives plus two to stuff. And doesn't take anything away. Oh, all good. Knock at the door for Classy. The door is closed. This Try door handle, is knock still again. No. The Press the urge. Alright, let's hope Kitsuragi's waiting for us downstairs. Aha! There's new people. Interesting. Alright. Kitsuragi, hello. Yes. Oh. I thought you'd have something new to say. What do you want to know? Uh, no. Serious? It's not a particularly new. The lieutenant no. adjusts. Good. Okay. Nothing. All right. Who are these guys? The woman in an RCM patrol officer's uniform winces as she notices you. I would really prefer not to talk to you right now. Hold on. You're a cop with the RCM? Yes, I am. I'm a cop too. I know. Here's the real deal. It's hard to tell whether he's sarcastic or sincere, but if you had to guess, you would say the lieutenant is being sarcastic. That's kind of a, a terrible descriptor, horse-faced woman. I'm on a murder investigation. Are you the cavalry? I'm definitely not the cavalry. Is everything all right? Why don't you want to talk to me? I don't know. I mean, uh, why would I want to talk to you? Have I wronged you? I've done that to a lot of people. It's cool to see another cup. I thought Kim and I were the only ones. Let's just do this by the book. Why? I bring word of the end to come. Have I wronged no, you? No, you haven't wronged me. It's okay. She shakes her head and breathes okay, out. Okay, fine. Let's talk. What did you want? Lots of stuff. What does one talk about with a fellow officer? What precinct are you from? You're the police, right? Cool, so am I. Okay, goodbye. What precinct are you from? What precinct? You just sigh. Fucking deranged lunatic. Oh, hello. 
The sunglass wearing man pushes through his teeth. You're getting an intellectually unsatisfying vibe from this conversation. Maybe you're doing something wrong. You're the police, right? Cool, so am I. I don't... I don't know what to say. Don't say anything, Judith. Judith? Wait, is he police? Me? No. I'm just a man with sunglasses. I like wearing sunglasses inside. Sunglasses and a fucking wig. Okay. What are you, the police, doing I'm here? I'm just looking out for... No one. I'm just a man with sunglasses. And you are? A policewoman, a horse-faced woman, say nothing. A policewoman? Oh, hang on. Are they supposed to be undercover? Uh, hmm. I think that's what they're getting at, is that I'm going to potentially blow their cover, hence why he's wearing sunglasses and a wig. Alright, you're just a horse-faced woman. You're a fucking asshole. Are we done here? Uh, <laughs> okay, goodbye. Sorry. <laughs> you look like shit. Your ruffled face reflects in the man's sunglasses. And I don't mean that as a metaphor. You look like shit, asshole. I don't look like shit. I know it's intentional. The last couple of days have been rough. Looks don't matter. It's what's on the inside that counts. I'm never going to get this case solved. The last couple of days have been rough. Oh, don't be so modest. We're looking at several months worth of damage here. Kind of a miracle you're still up and at it, to be honest. Oh, come on, John. It looks like it's been a rough week on him. It's not just this week. What do you want? John and Judy. There's something about this guy that matches with a face in your head. A similar but different face. Well, he's wearing a wig and sunglasses, so yeah. He might be wearing a disguise. Cool shades are you wearing a disguise? Kim, who is this guy? Esprit de corps? There's something strange about this guy. Figure it out. Got some questions for you. I'm a cop. Okay, then see you around. Uh, Kim, who is this guy? Mm -hmm. I'm not getting involved in this. Oh, okay. Uh, are you wearing a disguise? Yes, it's a hobby of mine. He looks at you inquisitively. As if waiting for some kind of reaction or response. Something to click. It's not happening, though. Who is this guy? Got some questions for you. I'm a cop. About what? You don't look like a cop. You know what you look like. A prophet? A revolutionary? Sack of shit? Like Guillaume Lemion? I don't know. You tell me. Like a man down on his luck. I'm trying real hard here. Uh, like Guillaume Le Million. No, no, you will not start blabbering about that asshole. Ah, he doesn't like them. Okay, now you answer? Why not? Because it's not my job. Why don't you go and fucking do yours and solve this damn hanging? It's not hanging. Uh, if you don't want to answer questions, maybe you want to hear me say things, or let's talk about something else. You want to hear me say stuff? Actually, I don't want to hear you say things. Come on, Jean. Okay, say things. I want to hear you say things. He adopts a lighter tone. Suddenly, out of nowhere, case-related things start popping up in your head. Okay, I'm doing this investigation. A man is hanged. Okay, I'm doing this investigation. It turns out he was shot and hanged. All right, well, he was shot and hanged. You think he was hanged as a cover-up? To hide the shooting? Basically, yeah. Okay, well... He corrects his blonde wig. <clears throat> his hair, he corrects his hair. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. Why are you? He gives you an odd look. It's like you felt it would be intellectually stimulating and would lead somewhere. A custom even? Strange. Oh my god, there's more. You want something more? What is it? Uh, let's leave the rest of the conversation. Watch out for yourself, loser. That voice, so very familiar. Did you hear it when calling to your station and reporting your badge missing? Ah, oh, wait, your voice. I recognize oh, really? it. Really? I wonder where. I lost my badge recently when I called in to report it missing. You were there. That's the where you remember me from? Yes, I haven't seen you before. Maybe. <clears throat> you have a bit of a... I have a bit of a memory trouble. Yes, I haven't seen you before. Maybe. Uh, yes, I haven't seen you before. And he's wearing a wig. Okay, then. It's probably a coincidence. People sound alike. Goodbye. But yeah, that's uh, Jean Vicman. So, it's a new day, and we have a lot of stuff to interact and tools and so on. So let's go ahead and use all of our stuff. So, plus one to physique, and then plus one to motorics and psyche. 
So we're gonna go press click. And then we're gonna go. Oh, wow. Damage morale. All right, let's see what electrochemistry's got to say. Now that you've acquired some stimulants, it's time for a little pick me up. Time to detect. Will it make me into a super cop? Wait, but Kim's here, he'll be disappointed. This is gonna be really bad for my health, isn't it? Okay, my body's ready, let's do this. I'm not doing this now. Will it make me into a super cop? It will make you into more than that. A mega cop. Brandy, this is how you've done it for years. Let's go. Wait, but Kim's here, he'll be disappointed. See, that's your problem. A lack of confidence. Speed can help you with that, and Kim, it can help you with everything. This is going to be really bad for my health, isn't it? It's not ideal, no, but you need the zeal. Let's face it, you're never going to finish this case without cheating. Okay, my body's ready. Let's do this. You raise the bottle, close a nostril, and <sighs> inhale furiously. <gasps> the rush is almost immediate. It tastes bitter and caustic. And stings a bit inside your nose. Mamma mia! Good to have you back, Officer Mega Cop. The world's been waiting. <laughs> Mamma mia! Now the taste is slowly receding into your throat. The rush is growing in intensity. Your little heart pounding like a bird in a cage. A sweat breaks out across your brow. Your jaw clenches. You found speed and sniffed it. Hmm. You could work with this high. Like, literally, work. Solve the case, file some papers, maybe clean up your hostel room, then solve another case, then start a side investigation into the paranatural, then build a radio computer. Whoa, this shit is strong. This shit is disco. Kim, I did a little speed. I hope you don't mind. It was for professional reasons. Feels great. Are there any downsides to this at all? Cool, cool. Let's boogie. Are there any downsides? To this? You kidding? There are downsides to not being on it. That is factual. There are massive downsides. It's a potent neurotoxin. You're turning yourself into a frayed idiot. I hope you don't mind, Kim. I'm not your mother. I don't care. Do what you have to do. Eh, uh, that, that could have been worse. As long as you remain functional, he thinks. Now, let's get back to work. Cool, cool. Let's boogie. Spring, spring. Everything is clear around you. You're ready to concentrate on the next task in the task chain. In the bottom right corner of the screen, there's a speed button. Speed gives plus one to motoric skills. Perception, reaction speed, hand-eye coordination, savoir-faire, interfacing, and composure. This is good before a white check, but damages your morale. It's a bit of a shame that I actually ended up talking to Jean and Judith and healed morale when I was actually already full. That would have been handy. Oh well. Okay, so I have used... Well, let's see. I've used the alcohol. I've used the speed. So now it's plus one to Pyrrolodon and Commodore Red. So those are two separate things. So for Pyrrolodon And we'll do some more alcohol, right? So I'm at one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So the the effects do stack if it's a different item. Okay. So we have a ton of extra skill points and stuff. Like I now have seven physical instruments. I don't I didn't think I was ever gonna get that high. And volition's quite high as well, so yeah, pretty good. Alright, so let's get this and this back on. We'll go ahead and make a save because we've used up some important items. Let's try talking to Jean and again? Judith again. I can't believe this shit. He shakes his head, looking like he really is having trouble believing this shit. Esprit de corps. Oh, I need to change my clothes around. So, change clothes around. So, I'm looking for esprit de corps. So, this. 
No, suggestion, nope. The... Oh, that does give it speed of core. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, speed of core, speed of core. No, okay, that's the all. That's all I can do. So, let's try it now. Again? I can't believe Challenging. It's let's go. There's something that binds you to him. Some kind of an outfit, maybe. A uniform. A firefighter's uniform. An animal control uniform. A nurse's uniform. I understand the uniform is metaphorical. I'm actually seeing the working class, right? Well, I know it's none of these. It's because he's a police officer. But let's go with... Uh... Ah, he's not working class, though. I'll go with firefighters. Exacto mundo. I don't think he's a firefighter. I'm not going to ask that. Of course, you don't have to. You can talk about anything you want. Okay. Um, I do have a skill point. So let's put it into a spree decor. Why not? Hello, Jean. I can't, I can't again? believe this shit. There's something what? that binds you to Failed him. again. Some oh. kind of an outfit. All right, maybe. I'm seeing the working class. Uh, I want to say, yes, I think. Level with me here for a second. Are you working class? Fucking politics again. You know what I'm more interested in? Uh, yes. You solving the case you're on. I'm passionate about that. So maybe get to it. All right, well. Maybe if I level up Esprit de Corps one more time. I am only nine points away from getting another level. Yes. What is it? Are you by any chance working class? Well, raising two children and half a husband on a patrol officer's wage? Yes, I guess I am working class. Half a husband? You want to rise up and tear down the entire fucking system with me? Cool, I am too. Good to know. That's nothing to be proud of. You want to tear down the system? No. Okay, sort of. But not with you. Like you are now. Don't take this the wrong way. Oh yeah, she wants to tear down the system on her own terms. Are you with him? Of course I'm with him. Why do you ask? He's an asshole. He seems like a cool guy. You look cute together. Nothing, just wondering. He's an asshole. You're an asshole. You know what? Maybe with both assholes. At least he admitted it. Please. Let's not turn this into another exchange, okay? Alright, let's leave Jean Vigner away. Okay, so, uh, Lena, do you have anything new about your husband? Oh, hello, dear. There you are again. Hmm, alright, so, suggestion is locked. I've got nothing to say to you. Uh, Why are you wasting your time? I am not a even. He's done. right. With a face like You're that, very pretty, she you know? A cold look in her eyes speaks louder than words she is not amused right. it's not her she's not a hardy girl definitely like what's your role you could be no. Even he's right the dun, 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 it's dun. not her she's are you miss bofo i suggest not even though she has excellent control over herself hardy not yeah something uh easily i'm not here to no. check no. okay what you want is all no why are you aggressive Address just die. listen Fuck you. so ask what you came to ask or get back to your commanders. Uh, <laughs> uh, armed uprising. Yeah. Strange. This is right. a we'll talk later. Anything for you? It's you again. What is it? What is it? Establish authority. <laughs> so authority zero. But we did confront him about the drug trade. Strange reaction to the bullet in the Scotty Eighth Hardy, but weak when we first met. Ah, uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I don't have enough authority boosting items to be able to make that worth doing you. And I guess that's it for everyone in the room. Okay. I do like the fact that you can see all the different uh, icons stacked on top of each other in the bottom left corner. That's pretty cool. I wonder if there's a limit to how many things you can actually have in one go. Looks like you Inside, can have five. You see a set of steering levers, a radio microphone. A... Radio. Precinct 57, how may I assist you? Uh, 41st? Just a moment, officer. 10 4, come in, officer. Over. Uh, listen, I've actually lost my gun too. There's personal details and call. 10 4, personal sir. details. Sorry. But I'm under orders to give a negative to request for personal information. Over. 
You mean you can't tell me anything about me, but I'm me. Ten four. Orders as you orders. Anything else? Over. Well, now that Jean Vicmer is in the whirlinging rags, he can't hear me. Uh, say I've lost my gun. So I'll say it now. Ten four. I know I already wrote it in a report, but uh, it will stay on my desk for a few days. Over. Oh, and we got a level. Roger that. Ten ten. Over and out. Uh, radio. Precinct 57. Hazard. Her voices fade out. Gottlieb, what you get yourself into this time? The question is followed by the so sound of someone taking a long drag. How did you know it was me? I didn't, but now I do. How's the drinking going? I'm trying really, really hard not to. It's going great. I feel like it's really helping me with this case. I don't want to talk about it anymore. It's really helping me with the case. Great. Have a medal. I have an autopsy to attend to. An autopsy of one Chester McLean who died of fish poisoning. How do you die of fish poisoning? Fucking, I'm not dead. It just hurts, okay? Ah, uh, Chester is the person that I couldn't remember. Uh, Doc, someone broke my heart. Look, pal, getting pumped and dumped is not a disease. People live through it all the time. You should be happy for her. Wait, pumped and dumped? Uh, that's what the guys say, officer. That some chick pumped you and then dumped you, threw you away like an empty juice carton. Don't take it personally. There just wasn't any juice left in your carton, pal. And I took some health damage for that. You know who this person was, have I told you? You must have me confused for a close personal friend. I am not. I am a medical professional with a constant idiot emergency on my hands. One needs tending to right now. He thinks, looking around the room. God, these apes. You hear someone whine in the background. My eye, Doc, my eye. Is that Chester? Alright. Both sensitivity. Hung over. Uh, Good. no. It would be an awful nuisance if your experiments with your blood pressure were to cause permanent damage to your vision. A nuisance to you, that is. On account of you being so proud of your marksmanship. My hand-eye coordination is relatively good. It certainly does not help with aiming. Mm, I think I've had a heart attack. Can you survive? Sort of. Even better. Uh, lost my memory. All the what else? It's hard to say. If okay. it is there anything you can do? do? You want me to do blood work for you again? Tell you just how bad. Yeah, I want the truth. You want the real, honest to God truth? Stop drinking, eat magnesium and vitamin D. The money uh. is probably going to some old, oily. And no, I don't want to hear a political commentary on the topic. In fact, I got work to do. Some idiot has glued his eyelids shut with cyanoacrylate. It looks like mectorsin. So that's why he's saying my eye, my eye. It's not fucking cryoacrylate. It's super glue, Doc. Okay, and that's Mac. Cyanoacrylate. Esther and Mac. Right, is. That's it. Mm hmm. Anything okay, uh, did you find the owner of the armored boots? Sorry, sir. I still haven't heard back from the database people. Try calling again later. Is there anything else I can do for you? So I guess there's an actual time limit. 